Today we are going to be learning about symmetrical balance. If something is symmetrically balanced, um, that means that it is the same on both sides. So if we cut it in half, it would be exactly the same on both sides. So we are going to be making these fun birthday cakes that are symmetrically balanced. Okay, so to get started with our symmetrically balanced cakes, the first thing that you're going to need are a few pieces of paper. If you have colored paper, that is awesome. That would be nice for a background. If you don't have any colored paper, just use white paper. You can color it or paint it if you have paint. And then um, we're going to use white paper for our cake. So the first thing that we're going to do, you're going to need pencil and a pair of scissors for this. You're going to take your paper and fold it in half the long way. You want to line up the two corners, press it down, and while you're still holding it, fold it down. So this is what it should look like when it's folded, okay? Now on the folded edge, this is important that you draw everything here. We're not going to cut the folded edge, we're going to cut the open edge, alright? So keep it in front of you like a book or a card with the folded edge right here on your left hand side. And then we're going to draw the cake. I don't think we'll draw the candles and all the little um, decorations that you see in the um, example. We'll have to use other pieces of paper for that later on. I just think it would be too hard um, to cut out those skinny pieces like this. So let's just concentrate on the cake and the plate. So a layered cake, it, I think most of these cakes have three layers um, and they're kind of tiered. So there's like a smaller layer, it gets a little bit bigger and a little bit bigger. And then we have to have room for the plate. So let's draw the plate first. All right. Um, so the plate has, and we're going to be drawing half of this so it's symmetrically balanced on both sides. But on both sides. So this is the actual um, cake plate. This is like the bottom of it. And then there's a stem. And then the plate comes around like this. And then I'm going to draw my cake. All right. So the first layer of the cake um, is like this. If you want to make frosting on it, you can. The second layer have made that too far in the second layer. I'm going to go up and I'm going to make some more frosting and then this is the third layer. You don't want to make your frosting too crazy because you have to cut this out. You have to be able to cut it out. We will draw all the details on this later. So now that I have my cake drawn, I'm going to keep it folded and then I'm going to start cutting it out carefully. Try to cut on the line. So when we open it up, it should look like a layered cake, and it does. All right, so this is the plate, and this is our cake. Um, then we can lightly draw in our details. All right, so this is like the frosting going across each layer. have some frosting down on the bottom layer too. Let's see what other kind of, oh there's different um, sorts of patterns inside of the cake. Now you can either choose to color this or paint this. Um, I think what I'm going to do is color it with crayon and then I might use some paint to add some extra details. Now if you don't have paint that's okay you can just use crayons um, colored pencils or whatever you have. I want you to take a look at the beautiful examples um, on the lesson plan as a guide because there's some really cute um, ideas on here. So I'm going to start designing this and coloring it. I'll probably put this in fast forward so that we can, um, so it doesn't take too long. Um, let's see, I think I will wait to glue this on to my background paper. I'm going to color it first. All 
also it should be symmetrically balanced so it should you need to color it the same on both sides if that makes sense Okay, now I have some paint. I just have a little bit of craft paint here. Um, it's just like this kind from Walmart. If you have any kind of paint at home, um, you can use whatever you have. And if you don't have paint, like I said, you can use, um, just draw that and color it in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some details, like some layers inside of the cake some details on the plate. Um, I think I will wait to add candles and stuff like that. I think I'm going to draw that on, but I'm also going to add some paint to the background. So some of these have lollipops on them, there's candles, some have strawberries on them, other little decorations. You can kind of decorate your cake however you want, but I do want to see some sort of patterns going on in there, whether you draw them or paint them or add them in some other way. So I am gonna start just, I just have four colors of paint here, but I'm just gonna add some details, I don't know. You can kind of do it however you want to do it. Maybe I'll do some dots here. So I'm going to fast forward this and just start adding some designs with my paint. Okay, so here is um, all the decorations that I painted on my cake. Um, and I also painted um, some dots in the background too. So the last thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of my scraps of paper that I used to cut out my cake and I'm going to make a couple candles, which I don't have a ton of room up here, but I'm going to draw some candles or um, maybe some lollipops or some flowers or something like that um, and add to my design. So whatever you think would be good. So I'm gonna, if I'm gonna cut out candles, remember since it's symmetrically balanced, it has to be the same on both sides. If I did three, if I did one on each side and one right in the middle, that would make it symmetrically balanced. So I'm gonna fold my paper a couple of times so I can make, this will actually make four candles and I only need three, but that's okay. So I'm just cutting like a long rectangle for my candles. I just want to see, yep, they're going to be too long. As a matter of fact, I don't think I'm going to have room to put candles up there. It's just not going to be enough room. So I think what I will do is I'm going to add some flowers. Um, you're going to want to, I think, draw them and color them first. But remember, if you're going to add, like, say, I want to put a flower here, then I'm going to have to put a flower on this side. Anything that you put in the middle, it can be right in the middle. It, if you cut it in half, it would be the same on both sides. Let me show you. Like, say I've got a flower here. I really should actually cut it out so that it's symmetrically balanced. 
we won't get too technical about the flowers or whatever decorations you add. But now, all right, I drew this flowerish or cut out this sort of flower shape. Now, if I glued it right here in the middle, I can kind of see where I folded my paper. If I glued it right here in the middle, it would be symmetrically balanced because it's the same on both sides. Of course, I want to color this first. Um, so I am going to get to work on that and I will be back in a minute. Okay, so I decided to, that I was going to add flowers to my artwork. So I cut out um, a bunch of flowers. Um, these ones are going to be in the middle, so they're, it doesn't matter if they're the same if you glue them on to the middle, but I did fold them in half to draw them, or to cut, I folded them half, drew half of it, cut it out, and then colored them. I will tell you, it was not easy to color little, um, pieces of paper, but I did it. And these two, I folded the whole paper in half and cut them out so they're the same, because I'm going to put them on the sides over here. You want to have them exactly the same so that they're symmetrically balanced. So I think this one I'm going to put on the top here. So you only need a little glue around the outside edge as always. I'm going to see if this glue is working. I'm going to try to tuck it underneath here. I think that I glued that on so well that it won't work. There we go. Now you can add whatever um, things you want. You do not have to make flowers. You can have like strawberries, candles, any kind of things that you think would go on a birthday cake. A flower there. And then, of course, they had lollipops in the example. I thought that was really cute, too. And there, I might add a couple of leaves. Now, um, I'm going to add some leaves my cake. What I decided to do, because these were hard to color, I just colored the whole paper um, green, or you could use construction paper too. And then I am going to fold this in half and make a few leaves. So I'm just going to cut that shape. Now I have some leaves. So I want I just wanted to add a couple of leaves just to add some more decoration. Try to put it the same on both sides. And I think on this other big one too. There. So I think that's enough decorations for this um, birthday cake of mine. And I can't wait to see what you guys do with yours. <laughs>